Hello everyone, I'm Kirby, this is Kirby Meets Audio, and today I'm gonna tell you a little bit about how I started my speaker building company. But first, just a real quick little update. Um, I get at least a few emails a day asking me about using PayPal uh, to order my speaker building plans and speaker building kits. Uh, that wasn't an option before, but now it is. It's in a beta kind of process thing right now, so if you have any problems with it, uh, let me know, send me an email, but otherwise, you should be able to use PayPal. All right. Also, I'm gonna be doing a Q&A video here coming up in a few weeks. Um, so if you have any questions for me, about me, um, about my speakers that I build, about speaker building in general, any questions that you haven't found answers to yet, uh, shoot them down in the comments and I'll try to answer uh, a bunch of them in a video. All right, so an email that I get quite often asks about how I started Salvage Audio, my speaker building company. Um, if you haven't seen the speakers that I build and I sell online, you can check it out right up here, a little linky link. So I started like a lot of small businesses start. Uh, I fulfilled my own need. Um, I think it was 2010, uh, I was looking for a small Bluetooth speaker for my living room, for my apartment. Uh, I went online and I couldn't find anything that really fit my aesthetic style. Um, I, I just didn't like it, the look of any of the available speakers. Nowadays you can find uh, cool like bamboo speakers and other Bluetooth speakers made from wood on sites like Amazon. Um, but back in 2010 there really wasn't much of that. If there was, I couldn't find it and the stuff I did find was way out of my price range. Um, it was all just like plastic, black, uh, cheap st looking stuff, uh, like iHome stuff. So at that time, I was learning woodworking while building guitars and basses at a local company here in San Luis Obispo. So I figured that I could probably make the enclosure out of wood uh, with the skills that I had, uh, but the electronics, I had no clue, totally beyond the scope of my knowledge. So I scoured the internet, looking at forum after forum, and after a few days of research, I realized that it really wasn't too difficult to put together my own powered speaker using parts that I could find online. So I designed my speaker, I built it, put it together, and first time I turned it on, and it worked. I was shocked and surprised and excited. Uh, and I felt really accomplished that I had built something that was hard, um, but I did it. So of course, I was really proud of what I made. Um, any opportunity that I got, I showed it off to friends and family, played it for them, and it sounded pretty good. Uh, actually, one of my friends saw the speaker and sent me an email saying that he wanted me to make one, the same one, for him. And that's when I thought, maybe other people would want me to build them speakers of their own. I had recently discovered the online marketplace Etsy, so I took the profit that I made from building my friend's speaker, ordered the parts for a new speaker, and put that up online for double the price that it cost me to make it. So this was a test. Either no one would buy the speaker, and I would know that nobody wanted it, uh, or someone would buy the speaker, I would know that someone, at least one person, w was willing to spend money on purchasing something that I made, and I would have enough money, enough profit from that sale to buy parts for two more speakers. It took a little while, but luckily that first speaker sold, and then the two I built after that sold, and then the four after that sold, and so on. I never had outside money to invest into the company, so I started out with borrowing tools until I made enough profit to buy my own. And whenever I needed to upgrade my tools or build workbenches or anything like that, I only used profits that I made from selling speakers. So I never went into debt, I never had to borrow money, uh, and my company has always been profitable since the first speaker I sold. And that was all really important to me because I wanted the company to grow and I wanted it to eventually be my full-time job. Now, I could only do it this way because I had a full-time job at the time. So everything I was doing for Salvage Audio, I was doing on nights and weekends. Um, I was able to have my part-time job pay for all my bills and everything else and have Salvage Audio be its own self-sustaining thing. 
everyone's situation is different. So this might not work for you in your current situation. Um, so take that into account. I also think this model or strategy of testing and going slow, making incremental progress uh, can be applied to a bunch of different small businesses, not just speaker building. Especially if this is your first business or you're entering a market that is new to you. Uh, it was super valuable to me to fail a lot early uh, when the stakes were really low. Um, it was a really safe and easy learning environment. All right, well, I hope that answered some of your questions. Um, if you have any more, leave them down in the comments. Uh, I'll try to answer them in the question video and answer, question and answer video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it. Bye. See ya. Oh, my ankle hurts. <laughs>